You're watching News 19 Daybreak with Dustin Lukey, Candace Price, and meteorologist Alyssa Triplett. Daybreak continues right now. Good morning and welcome back. Well, local arts organizations are finding ways to stay connected with their audiences. And you can be a part of that and maybe learn a bit, little bit about an uh, organization you might not have known about. Eva Marie Restel with the Lacrosse Symphony Orchestra joins us this morning to talk about this collaborative effort we're calling Lacrosse Arts Online. Eva Marie, thanks for being with us. It's great to be here. Thank you, Dustin. Yeah, you're coming to us from uh, North Carolina right now. So being able to have that virtual connection is nice. And that's essentially what uh, the Lacrosse Arts Online uh, group is working to do as well. That's right, that's right. The arts groups in lacrosse all came together as soon as this happened, knowing that the arts just bring a lot for our community and also that the community supports the arts so, um, so well. And uh, we love our community. And we thought we could do something for our community to give back during this really tough time for everyone. This is hitting everyone in the world, literally. Um, and we could do something to make it a little bit better. And so as a united group, we came up with this idea to, for each of us to have um, offerings, online offerings of arts experiences and education. Um, for for our community members. We've seen a lot of the home entertainment options, a lot of organizations, uh, you know, making the most of this situation. And now lacrosse arts organizations are doing that. So what sort of content can we expect and where can people access it? So um, each of us are coming up with great content that works inside our area. And, um, and that's what we're offering. So that's why we sent out. So each of the groups is sending out um, all the links and on those links, um, you will see what time that they're, what they're doing. Some are doing it on Facebook, some are doing it on their website, and they have different timing as well so that it's spattered throughout the week so that people have different um, options, which, is, which makes it exciting. So you'll see a wide variety of things. Um, as for the symphony, we are going to be offering 30 days of symphony starting on this Thursday. And Alexander Platt um, has been wonderful learning how to use an iPhone. I'm so proud of him. Um, and he's doing um, videos, three minute videos about a symphony, a different symphony each day to tell us so we understand what we're listening to and its significance and what to listen for. And, and, um, and so you can more fully enjoy it. And then we'll have a link right next to it um, so you can enjoy Sometimes it's the lacrosse symphony um, performing, but sometimes it's symphonies from around the world um, performing that specific symphony. So that's what we are doing and everybody is doing something different. Yes, and I will certainly be taking advantage of that when that's uh, live this Thursday, you mentioned. Uh, and we will keep uh, folks updated as well. Uh, you can go to our website, wxw.com, for a list of all of these as they're coming out. Eva Marie, thank you for being with us to talk about this uh, great collaborative, Lacrosse Arts Online. Thanks so much, Dustin. You have a great day. You too. Alyssa, mm -hmm. over to you. Well, thanks, Dustin. And we continue to see these frigid cold temperatures dominate the region, but will the sunshine warm us up? We'll have the details after the break.